to another What I Ate Wednesday. This Wednesday morning, I'm going to have one of these. I want to show you the box. It's a Nature Valley. They're crunchy. Um, actually, I ate all of the bars out of the box. The cat's going crazy because I'm talking. Uh, he's like, who are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Um, I ate all the bars out of the box and I bought just the peanut butter. Uh, even though I like maple brown sugar a lot, I, brought, I bought, I'm sorry. I bought just the peanut butter. Why are you wanting to be help? And so I'm going to have a um, one of the peanut butter bars, and they are 190 calories. Um, did you want to say something? So it is mid-morning, and I'm going to have another snack. Um, you all probably wanted to know, and I didn't say, the peanut butter bar, uh, da, 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 da. I told you it was 190 calories. It, what do you all like to know? It has two grams of fiber, 11 grams of sugar, four grams of protein. I do not add up my sugars and stuff, but a lot of you said I should add up my sugars, but I just don't. Okay, so it is mid-morning now. It is 10.30, so I'm gonna have one of these 5 for 1 bars. These are only 90 calories. This is the s'mores bar that we reviewed. I liked it. Kevin didn't care for it so much, but Kevin doesn't really like 5 for 1 bars anyway. Um, I thought it was good. It didn't taste like s'mores to me, but I still think it's good. It is um, 90 grams of sodium, 18 carbohydrates, five grams of fiber and eight grams of sugar. So, but it's only 90 calories. So that's why the other bar was higher because it's a bigger bar. So anyway, I'm gonna have that uh, 90 calories and I'll be back at lunch. For lunch, oh, I'm very tempted to have another bar. We have so many bars up in the cabinet right now that I just, when I see this many bars, I like to, uh, try to get rid of some of the boxes because there are so many and you know what that's what I'm gonna do That's what I'm gonna do. I'm not normally I would have like peanut butter or crackers or something like that I'm gonna have another bar. These are the nature belly biscuits, which basically means it's a big cookie I'm gonna have a big cookie for lunch. There you go uh, These are the ones with peanut butter. I absolutely love them. Ashley, Ashley loves them. They are like a giant Nutter butter, peanut butter cookie. They're awesome. Uh, these are 190 calories, so the same exact amount of calories that would be in a package of those crackers is in one of these. Uh, let's see, cholesterol, five, less than five. Cholesterol is less than five. Uh, sodium is 180, carbohydrates is 21, fiber is three, sugars eight, protein five, uh, but that's what it is. I'll show it to you in case you missed the review. My battery's blinking, so I'm gonna have to change it. Hopefully I'll get to show you this before it goes off. Ooh, gosh, it smells wonderful. Mm, that's the first part of the meal. That's always the first part. The first part of the meal is not the eating, it's the smelling. <sighs> awesome, okay. This is how big it is. Where, there we go. Okay, and then here's the peanut butter. It's like full of peanut butter. It's awesome. Anyway, I love it. That's what I'm having for lunch. I will catch you later at snack time or dinner time or whatever I eat next. I thought I would take you through and show you how I make my pork chops because I've never shown you that on a video before. I will say this is not a healthy meal. I'm not claiming that this is a healthy meal. Okay, so Kevin has his calculator out and he's going to tell me how many calories these are they all look to be i'm sorry i should have shown you what i'm making here these are uh kroger sells moist and tender these are moist and tender boneless pork chops they were seven dollars and four cents because we have a kroger card and on the back of the package it says that um it says four ounces or 112 grams is 130 calories. So that's where I'm getting uh, these um, numbers from. Okay, this is 159, or 158, sorry, 158. Too late, already done, already done. Okay, so. 184 calories. So that's 184. That's all I can tell you. 
Oh, that's the only one you that's can do? That's probably about average. Yeah, they, they all look to be about the same size. So, 184 for a pork chop. Of course, that does not count. I, um, I cook it in... Um, and in flour <laughs> and oil. So let me wipe my hands off now and I'll be back. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is get your pan out. I use vegetable oil. You can use any oil you want. And you want to cover the bottom. So that is plenty of oil. And then I'm going to um, Heat it up. I'm going to start uh, letting it heat while I uh, do what I need to do with my pork chops there. What you want to do is, I don't need that spoon. This is regular all-purpose flour. And a lot of people would dip this in egg, but I never have. I've never, never done it that way. So I just, I use my fork a lot. And uh, I just cover the pork chop with flour and get both sides really good. And then when the oil's heated up, we'll put it in the oil. Okay, I think my oil is hot enough. Yep, it sizzled. It sizzled. So. Once you put flour on, did you do anything else? I did not do one other thing. There they are. Now, I will go ahead right now and I'll put salt on each one and pepper and then when I flip them over um, I'll add more salt and pepper on the other side. Now I have this plate here because you will want to go ahead and get some um, paper towel or napkin and lay it on your plate so that when that comes out, the pork chops come out, you'll have some place to rest it because you don't want to lay that greasy pork chop right onto someone's plate. Uh, you need it, uh, you need to give it a place to rest to get some of the oil off. So I'm going to let these cook for a little bit and then I'll show you uh, how I know it's time to flip them. Okay, I know these need to be turned over now because you can see the edges are getting brown. I don't want to get my camera any closer. <laughs> no, you don't want to pop on the camera. But I, I have not touched them, so I'm just going to turn that over. That's good. Turn e each one of them over. And these do make a mess. Grease pops all over the place. Just know that you're going to have a mess to clean up when it's over. But you'll have a good dinner. So now I will add a little bit more salt and a little bit more pepper to each side. And then I will let them go again until um, I notice that the pink is gone from the bottom, the bottom edge. Okay, these are smoking a little bit. That sounds horrible, but they are. Okay. You can, I don't know if you can see the smoke or not. But that means you can flip them over. I'll flip them over one more time. And you can see how brown that is. That's how we like our pork chop. Crispy. So now if you try to flip them too soon, it will pull the flour off with it. So you have to kind of be careful. Sometimes you have to take your fork underneath just to make sure that you're not going to take that layer of flour off. These are pretty good non-stick pans too though. Yes. If you, yeah, we used to own some pans that were not this good, and uh, the flour would peel right off the bottom. So that's the last time I'll flip them, and uh, I'll leave them on there for maybe two more minutes, and then they're going to come off. So this is what I'm having for dinner. This is a pork chop, which is like 180 something calories, Kevin said. And then this is a um, uh, oven uh, onion roasted potatoes. And I do do a recipe on this, but it probably won't be out for weeks. Uh, it's like 110 calories, but that is not including the oil uh, that I cooked it in. That's not including for the pork chop. The calories don't include the, um, the flour or the oil that I cook that in. I will probably have a tablespoon of this um, ketchup. It's only five calories for a tablespoon. And so I love, uh, love ketchup with my potatoes. 
Um, but it, if I had to guess, I'll say 350. I'll go bold and say 350 for this meal. So I don't think that's bad at all. But I love these. And let me cut the pork chop open for you since I wish I could show you, but uh, um, I wanna show you how it looks. I'm just gonna cut it right in the middle. And that is how it looks. So, and it's, it has, um, it's moist on the inside. So that is, to me, that's a perfect pork chop right there. So anyway, I will catch up back up with you. I don't think this is a bad meal at all. It's not like I've gone over calories by a lot. So um, when I have snack, I'll have snack just like I always do and I'll catch back up with you. Someone's sitting beside me eating. I'm way over here. <laughs> Tonight for my first snack, I'm gonna have one of these Quaker breakfast flats. This is the cranberry almond. It is 180 calories, and in this package, you get like three thin um, uh, flats, just like that. And then I'm also gonna have one hobnob. And you all know I love these. These Sarah sent me these from England. They are 92 calories. For my last snack of the night, I'm gonna have one of these Great Value oh, Chunka Chocolate Ice Cream Cones. They are rich and chunky, chunky chocolate chip cookie dough mixed with super velvety chocolate brownie dough nestled in vanilla ice cream side by side with chocolate ice cream and coated in chocolate flavored coating and a sugar cone. Kevin and I reviewed these. They are awesome. They're 260 calories, but in case you didn't see it, I will show you. This is how it looks. And then when I bite into it, the chocolate will fall away and there's lots of cookie dough. So I absolutely love this. And uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, What I Eat Wednesday.